What is going on YouTube? Username Kite562 here, and I have a manga review of Uzumaki by Junji Ito right here. Now, this is the all in one collection by Junji Ito. Originally, Uzumaki was published in 1998 to 1999, three different volumes. So, there's that. And I have to say, this book took me three days to read. And I just have to say, I loved every minute of it. It was really enjoyable and really fast-paced. Now, Uzumaki itself was like a collection of short stories within this book. And it's basically a three-in-one deluxe edition hardcover. But I have to say, the way that it feels, it almost feels like rubber. It's just, it's really nice. It's written and illustrated by Junji Ito. Apologies for the text being, you know, backwards, but hey, it's right here, and it's nice. Nice hardcover. Right there. <sighs> anyway, Uzumaki is a story about spirals affecting this little fog-bound town named Kurozucho, or Kazuocho, whatever you want to call it. Uh... Just to be sure, Kurozucho, a small fog-bound town on the coast of Japan, is cursed. According to Suichi Saito, the withdrawn boyfriend of teenager Kiri Goshima, their town is haunted not by a person or being, but a pattern. Uzumaki, the spiral, the hypnotic secret shape of the world. This bizarre masterpiece of horror manga is now available in a single volume. Fall into the whirlpool of terror. Or fall into a whirlpool of terror. Anyway, that's what the back says. But I have to say, I thoroughly enjoyed this book. Now, as I said, well, as I'm going to say, this book is written by Junji Ito and illustrated by him. And I have to say, the visuals in this book... Are just absolutely stunning and I have to say if you're squeamish look away but look at how gorgeous this visual is just to give you a taste of what the book looks like it's just absolutely phenomenal with the art and I have to say that panel with that guy in mind Suichi's father so yeah one of my favorites out of the many chapters of this book so, anyway, Uzumaki is a horror manga. Now, horror itself is subjective. What I find scary might not be what you find scary. But I have to say, Uzumaki is a definitely a great holiday Halloween reread. I also recently got the manga Doubt, the both omnibus volumes by uh, Yoshiki Tonagai. If I got that name wrong, I apologize, but still. this The main focus is Uzumaki. Now, as I said, this is a hardcover deluxe edition. There's also Gyo and Tomie, which Tomie is also one of the thicker stories, and Gyo is like a two-in-one hardcover collection. But I have to say, I'm more drawn to Uzumaki, and my favorite rereadable stories out of this book has to be from one being the best and three being the least I have to say number one has to be the lighthouse and then number two has to be Medusa and then number three has to be Mosquito now the lighthouse how does a spiral fit into a lighthouse is it on the painting maybe is it on the building in itself? Or on the building itself? Maybe. Or is it on the bulb? Which is it? Which it is. Which I really found interesting. Just the way that Junji draws out spiral shapes within like the air or within smoke or whirlpools. It's just really, it's not necessarily was scary to me, but it was just more intriguing at how Junji made spiral scary and i have nothing but praise for this story it's just it was an absolute 
blast. Just, again, I have nothing but praise for Uzumaki, and I can see why it's considered such a masterpiece by Junji Ito, but if you were ever to pick up any of Junji Ito's works, definitely start out with Uzumaki. Like, the three hardcover editions that I know of that are in this black and red format are Uzumaki, Gyo, and Tomie. There's also other works by him that are a collection of short stories, like Smashed, which is on my list, and then there's also Junji Ito's adaptation of No Longer Human, which was a novel by Osamu Dazai. And then there's also Junji Ito's Frankenstein, which is an adaptation of Mary Sherry's novel. I wonder if he's gonna do an adaptation of Bram Stoker's Dracula. I'd love to see that done by this guy. It's just, his visuals are just so iconic. But anyway, about my three favorite stories from this book, I have to say number one has to be The Lighthouse. And I just have to say, it reminded me a lot of Lord of the Rings, like a modern take of Lord of the Rings when Sauron's attacking Mordor. <laughs> just his big eyeball thing of fire and whatnot. But yeah, when you reveal where the spiral is within that story, it's just funny. And then Medusa <laughs> spirals growing in people's hair, and it ends up being a... Clash of the Titans style hair battle between two students, Kyrie and this other chick, which I can't remember her name off the top of my head, but I still really enjoyed this book, manga. So anyway, there's a lot of different stories within Uzumaki. I think this book itself is like 20 chapters, if I'm not mistaken. I can't really figure it out, so I know there's a bonus story in here called Galaxy. I have to say, just how all these visuals were portrayed, it's just really well done quality, and for a story that was written in, or serialized in 1998 to 1999 in a magazine, was really phenomenal, and I'm really looking forward to <laughs> Uzumaki being a adapted into an anime OVA movie type thing on Toonami. I think it was going to be a four-parter series. It's just, I'm really stoked for that because it's, I hope it sticks to the black and white format and not be colorized or any way. Just keep it black and white like the original manga is. And it's just... It's just going to be phenomenal, phenomenal, like, oof. if you're a fan of horror manga, definitely pick up Uzumaki, I got nothing but praise for it, like, I have to say, the one story that really unnerved me the most is Jack in the Box, just read this book at your own risk, and read it at your own pace, I finished mine in, like, three days, my first read through of this book and it's just absolutely wonderful just really a joyous experience but again i have to say the three most memorable short stories within this book to me are the lighthouse and then there's medusa and then the mosquito which takes place within a hospital how do you find that scary well you're just gonna have to check out uzumaki yourself again this book it's for a older audience, so 17 plus, 18 plus, older teen. So yeah, just if you can't handle gore or anything like that, this book isn't for you. But if you can handle it, you're in for a wild ride with Uzumaki. So yeah, this is Kite562. Leave a comment down below and tell me what your favorite short stories in Uzumaki was or was or is. Just like this video, comment, and most of all, subscribe if you want to see more content from this channel. This is Kite562, and I hope you have a wonderful day. See ya.